Okay, a couple quick things here on penalties and uh, penalty killing. So first of all, uh, this girl, 14, making some nice aggressive plays, playing hard, fires it in, chases it down. Now here, Maddie, got to clear that out of your skates. Can't just let it sit there. I know you're trying, but uh, got to just kick it out one way or the other. Now this girl's going to come in again, playing hard, wax at it, gives Maddie a cross check, tries to throw an elbow at Bryn, and Bryn says, no, nope, not having it. Take a seat. Now that is a penalty, but it's a good hard-fought battle. It's um, good work in front of the net, clearing in front of the net. It's not a malicious hit from behind. We've got to be careful with cross checks, careful with hits from behind especially. But this is just a good hard scrap in front of the net, and we're just not having it. Sometimes it's all right to bury girls in front. Now, that's that. Uh, as we get into this power play, or penalty kill, I guess it is their power play, uh, we've never talked about this, but on the penalty kill, what we have is not a center anymore. So we've got two forwards and two D. So off the face-off, this forward, now your job is to get out here and cover between these two or between these two. Really, this is your player. Uh, this forward, you still have that same D. And D, you have this forward and this forward. We're constantly going to be uh, at a disadvantage, two on one. But when it comes time to D zone positioning, as this play moves around, I'm going to pause it and you'll see uh, some D zone positioning. So here we're still shorthanded. Now right here, we, when we're shorthanded, we cannot have 2D on the puck. This second D, back out, and one, make sure that you don't get beat back to the net. So we're a lot more conservative when we're shorthanded, or we need to be. So you should back out so that if the puck comes out to you, you can get it. But then when you back out, you're going to see this girl there, and you should actually let her kind of take a more aggressive position. So now you're on D zone side or defensive side of both of their players, so you can't get back to the net. And then this forward, you're going to be covering out front in this area. So what we'll have is a D in the corner, a D in front of the net, a forward up high in the slot, and a forward kind of down here covering this forward and this D. If the puck goes here on the outside, that's a good spot for it to be. So this wing, you want to come right here, this wing right where you are, and the other D in front of the net. So now we actually get three, even all four of our players down deep, and we're shorthanded. So we should have one D, one D, one forward, and one forward. And these forwards can kind of sag down a little bit uh, in case they have a scoring chance coming, but uh, it, it, we're going to learn to make a box. So just a square, uh, and then we can talk about moving to diamond, but for now... Um, it's a lot like the four on two that we did in practice where there's a girl here, a girl here, 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 and then two in the middle. The two in the middle are playing soft. You're not really pressuring hard because you, that's how we get beat. So you want to keep yourself between them. Don't let them skate to the net, but we attack a lot less aggressively. And there we actually all got beat back to the net. Uh, shorthanded and they scored another goal so we'll work on our our shorthanded positioning but um, immediately we can start thinking about a box 1d 1d forward forward and then if it shifts over here the box shifts so then this d would go in the corner that d would come up front this forward would come over here and the f forward over here would come in the middle so the bot the whole box just slides over into the other corner